the kitchen pantry scientist and I'm here today to show you how to make these amazing window jellies that combine science and art in an awesome project that everyone will love. All you need to do this project are four cups of boiling water, six packets of gelatin, some food coloring, some cookie cutters, and some glitter if you have it. Now, dissolve six packs of gelatin in the water, mix it up really well, make sure it's all dissolved, and then pour the molten gelatin into each of two big containers. You could also use a big cookie sheet. But we like to make two containers because once the gelatin is cool enough to work with, make sure you do this with adult supervision, you can sprinkle glitter on the molten jelly and think about density. Does the glitter sink? No, it floats, it stays at the top of the liquid. Now density and shape affect whether something will float or sink. So think about that as you add your glitter to your gelatin. Let it solidify. Also let the other pan of gelatin that you poured solidify. And then we start a project that explores diffusion. What you'll do for this part of the project is take your gelatin, it's solid now, right? Feels like finger jello. Take a straw and poke a whole bunch of holes in the gelatin. Now, if you have trouble getting the little plugs out, we want little holes to put food coloring in. So if you have trouble getting the little plugs out, you can use a toothpick or a skewer. But make a whole bunch of little holes in the gelatin like my daughter has done here. Then take your food coloring and drip a different color of food coloring into each hole. We like to scatter them around because it looks really neat. Now, diffusion happens when there are areas of high concentrations, lots and lots of molecules in one small place, and they move out into the, their surroundings to areas of lower concentration. That's called diffusion. And what will happen is you will add your food coloring to your gelatin and then you'll let it sit overnight. What you'll see is the molecules of food coloring spreading out into the surrounding gelatin in perfect circles. You can actually measure the circles to see how fast the food coloring is diffusing. And by the next day, you should see something like this. Now, once you have your gelatin with glitter in it or with food coloring in it that's diffused, you can take cookie cutters and cut fun shapes out of the gelatin. If you need to, you can use a spatula or a knife to get the shapes out, but your fingers work pretty well too. And don't worry if they tear, you can put them back together on the glass. Then, ask an adult's permission, but then you can put your shapes on a window. This is the fun part. They will stick there, and what happens as they sit is that the water evaporates out of the gelatin, leaving you with cool, shrinky dink or stained glass like shapes. Now this is another fun science experiment. Take your shapes that the water has evaporated out of and put them in a glass of water. What do you think will happen? Try it and have fun. Happy jelly making. <laughs>